guys and welcome to my channel today is a fun update episode and i'm going to show you all the amazing updates that i have for you they are really really cool ones i'm really, really excited to show you and once i'm done showing you the plant updates inside we'll go outside and show you all the amazing details that happened outside i'm so excited for you guys so let's get into this first we're going to start with my easter cactus right here this guy who's been growing like crazy Oh my goodness, it's been growing like crazy right now. Got all leaves coming up. It's very, very cool. Got new leaves. And I just been fertilizing it every two weeks. And all the fertilizers and some water that I use will be in the description below in case you wanna go check that out. And I will show you the thermometer water in just a second. So here is the thermometer that I use for my orchids. Um, it has the temperature on it, it has the humidity on it, that way you know the humidity for your orchids. Inside orchids should be about 42%, so if you're that or higher, you're good. But I do use that on a daily basis, so that would be in the description as well. So here are my other two Easter cactuses right here. These are definitely Easter, which you're not supposed to be expecting anything at this point, um, only thing you're supposed to do is supposed to make sure they're watered and fertilized every two weeks. That's basically it. So that is it for my Easter cactuses. That's all my Easter cactuses. And now we're gonna move on to the Christmas cactuses because those are the ones we're gonna be talking more and more about as the year progresses. So as you can see, this guy is growing lots and lots of leaves. Um, there's no sign of buds growing at this point um they'll come out see there's this one that's very very tiny don't know if you can see it it's very very tiny right there and that's how that's why i say you won't know what it's going to be until it starts growing so right now you don't know if that's going to be a flower or if it's going to be just a leaf uh, but it's most likely going to be a leaf at this point because we're still in summer um and <clears throat> It's called Christmas cactus because they bloom during Christmas time. So that's why right now don't expect anything but leaves unless you're in a very, very cold climate. If you're in a cold climate, then you're going to see lots and lots of buds. But it's definitely just a once a year kind of thing. Then we got this Christmas cactus who has a new leaf right there. This is very, very exciting to see all the growth very very exciting and this is my last christmas cactus that's growing lots and lots of new leaves right there and it wants to fall over but there's like at least two to three new leaves i see this week so it's very very exciting so now we're going to move on to my aloes you got the two baby aloes right here and they're growing quite well they want to go to the side which is totally fine. Like going to the side is totally fine with me. I'm not gonna be crazy about it, but that's the way they want to grow. That's the way they're gonna grow. Um, what I gotta do is I gotta cut off this part of the leaf because the leaf is dried up. As you can see, it's a brown color right there. Other than that, everything looks to be good and it's growing quite well. So now we're going to move on to my orchids, and I got a very, very, very exciting announcement about this orchid. Um, I think at least on every orchid I have like a little surprise for you guys. So this guy is growing a new leaf. It's very, very tiny right now, but it's also growing a secondary spike right there. So exciting. Um, I noticed this probably about three days ago, I would say three to four days ago and I'm so excited because this is my first secondary spike growing right now which gives me lots and lots of excitement because that means a secondary spike is growing which means buds will soon come after and then they will bloom into beautiful 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 flowers which I'm so excited about. I haven't had flowers on orchids for so long I'm so excited about that. Then we got this guy who's doing quite well. We still have his flowers by growing. 
and it's also growing a new leaf right there and its roots are growing the roots are giving off secondary roots and it's awesome I love it so we got this guy right here it has this small flower spike right here which could give me a secondary spike if it wants to and we got this beautiful long leaf yeah I was not kidding when I said you need space for front of this orchids because they grow huge and um, the root system is doing quite well we got some new roots growing in yeah but every leaf gets longer than the first one which is why I always say make sure you have plenty of room for Phalaenopsis orchids because they are going to be big so now we're going to go to this guy right here who's had this flower spike for a very long time um, I always like to say it's probably about been a year or so since it's had its flower spike and it's still growing strong and then we also have this leaf that's growing in we got area roots that are growing and all the roots seem to be doing quite well actually all the roots are nice and growing I love it right now so everything is, seems to be going well with that guy and I did go to PetSmart and got a bigger uh, bowl for my baby orchid because this guy is not gonna be in this container much longer so you get this leaf growing and it already has a new leaf growing it's very tiny at this point but as you can see the root system is growing quite fastly so probably within the next few weeks probably not the next few months but the next few weeks it's going to outgrow this and I'll have to change it which is very very exciting I get all of my fish bowls I use fish bowls clear fish bowls um, plastic and glass are my go-to and I get this from PetSmart that's where I get them from in case you're wondering where I get all my bowls from I get them from PetSmart and they're fish bowls some are like this there are glass some are plastic I highly prefer plastic but I usually just grab what I can find at the time at the store so this guy is growing quite well we still got two roots that are growing that are gonna be coming down in the water pretty soon so that is it for my orchids I'm so excited about that one it has a second fire spike but right now we are going to go outside and I'll show you the rest of the plants that are growing out. Hey guys we're outside and here is the beautiful mother aloe right there as you can see she's growing quite nicely and then we got her beautiful babies this one is very exciting this one is growing so big and her other babies are starting to grow as well this is the original this is why I say you should have one outside so they can grow babies for you they can grow about up to 10 babies a year so it's always good to have one outside so they can grow for you in case something happens to the ones inside you okay, guys here are my poncettas um, I fertilized all of these guys Saturday because it rained all day Sunday, so it's a good thing I did that. And probably about mid-October to early November, we're going to start covering these guys so they can start producing the red leaves and the little flowers that they grow. So probably about mid-October to early November, we're probably going to be doing that. And here are my mini roses. As you can see, they're growing quite well. We got one bloom. We got another one that's blooming. We got another one that is about to bloom right there. This is so exciting. So yeah, I fertilize these guys every two weeks. So that is my fertilizing schedule in case you guys were wondering. Yeah, that is so awesome. So now we're gonna go back inside and I'm going to tell you guys all the fertilizers that I use. Okay guys, we just came out from outside and you saw all the beautiful plants. And before we go, I'm going to show you all the fertilizers that I use for all of my plants. So this is the fertilizer and they'll all be listed in the description below in case you want to check them out. This is the fertilizer I use for my roses. This is specifically for roses. 
So you have to find fertilizers that work for specific plants if you can find them. This is specifically for beautiful roses. So that is the one I use for that one. And this is the one that I use for the rest of my plants, for my aloes, the poncettas, the Christmas and Easter cactus. This is the one that I use for those. And now for the orchids. For the orchids, I use this one for the ones that are growing flowers and roots only. This is the one I use. And for the ones that are in bloom that have flower spikes growing or have flowers on them, this is the bloom um, formula for those guys. And what I do with my orchids is I grab a few Tupperware containers. It's just some type of bowl, that I, a clear bowl that I can see through so I know the water level. And I put some of the fertilizer in that, mix it up, and then I put the orchids in the ones where they go in, the correct um, fertilizer bowls. And I have them sit there for one hour, and then I take them out, and I put them back in their container. If the water needs to be changed, I change it then. And yeah, I check the roots every time I do this. So that is how I fertilize my orchids. And with the rest of them, um, there are instructions on each container about how to fertilize them. But I usually do it to my measurements so I don't use a lot of water. So I just put it in a little dish the measuring cup um, for water and then I put the fertilizer in and I stir it up and then just pour it in the containers where they're setting. So that's basically how I get my fertilizing done every two weeks. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, share it to grow our community, and subscribe if you are new here. I do plan updates every Tuesday. And please hit that bell so you're always notified when I put out new videos and I'll see you guys next week.